Hey, 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 it's Rossi from the Matic Odyssey and Splinter Faction. I rap and produce in both groups and I am in no way an expert or pro. I'm just a guy who does his thing and he's been doing it for a little while and thinks maybe he knows a thing or two here and there, <laughs> I guess. Um, but no, I was I was talking to my mate Faze Farah Vic. If you haven't heard him, you should check him out. He's also an absolutely dope producer and MC. And yeah, we just got talking shop and stuff. Culminated in him sending me over some stems for his beat and vocals, which we've got here. And I said I'd do a mix for it, put my own sort of spin on things, just do what I feel it might need or how I'd approach it as a producer. And then record it for the benefit of basically me and him. But, you know, if you're watching, I hope that you might learn something and that this isn't all too dull and meandering because I will go off topic and down rabbit holes and shit like that. I'll try and keep it as concise as I can. <laughs> but I've already recorded a couple of takes for this intro and gone, I'm going long. So anyway, let's shut up, play the beat. We got it here. Um, all I've done is, well, I've turned off all of the effects, as you can probably gather from them all being read there. And I've done a bit of leveling on the beat and vocals and I've added a few little bits of delay there's a bit of delay and some phaser going on not some phaser what am I on about some auto panning so that's just bouncing around left and right um, basically they're gonna stay in because I've printed them into the stems itself and it's just a bit of effort to turn them all off and turn them all back on again whereas these I can easily turn off and on at once the reason I did them into the stems, if you really want to know, is because, you know, you, you didn't ask. I'm just telling you anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, the reason I did that is just because of the way the delay tail goes. Um, I like it more than sending them to a bus for that instance only. Yeah, that's about it. If you don't agree, fight me. I got my reasons. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, let's, let's fucking listen to the beat, mate. Young guns so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. We've been fighting the same war since men found flame to riding the Megazord. Had my ass beat with more than extension cords, so bullets authorized won't take me to meet my lord. Rules of engagements are based on arrangements, not just bills, so bring real bread to your arraignments. There's people in my circle giving bad advice. They rap like lions, but they really lie in lights. There we go. So if you're not familiar with Faze Farrow Vic, as you'll hear from that, he has quite sort of a ambient, spaced out almost style of hip hop that he brings. And I love that shit. It's different to uh, the kind of thing I usually produce, I guess. So it was interesting to, you know, listen to and find out myself where I might want to take this. Um, so what did I do? What did I do to start with? Listening to the overall thing, I think just like not much going on in the low end. Like we've got the bass that comes in around here. In this instance, now Vic... This is sort of a classic for him. Rather than using 808s and stuff, like a lot of hip hop producers will, uh, he likes to favor a double bass sound, which personally I'm often in agreement with. But yeah, as a result of that, we've got like something a bit more sparse than I might be used to than an 808 that's like always punching on the kick or something like that. Um, and it's also, yeah, just quite a dynamic instrument. You can see from the waveform itself, like, it's very punchy in some of these first, like, plucks, I guess, as it would be from if it was an actual double bass. It might be an actual double bass that sampled, I don't know. So, yeah, also, so low end is what I was talking about. So we've also got these drums that are kind of, I don't know, there's... Definitely some sort of effect that's happened to them, or maybe they've just been recorded in a really lo-fi way or something that's given them that crackle and that dust that's real nice. But it's also, it's not given any kind of heavy thump or anything. We don't necessarily need a heavy thump 
for this type of production, but I just felt it needed some thickness. So what I did, just to you know actually get to the point, is I did a duplicate of the drums where I put it then into mono and I stuck this, which is like some tape saturation. Um, there's no actual saturation going on, but I've rank, cranked up this dynamics control a little bit, which just gives it some extra punch. And I have basically taken out all of the highs. So it's just the low end thump there. We... That doesn't help, I need to turn the effect on, there we go. So if you're listening through like a phone speaker or anything, you probably can't even hear that. <laughs> but yeah, so there's just, there's the tiniest little bit of the low end body of the snare, but otherwise it's all just the thump of the um, kick there. So in addition to that, what did I do to the drums? I just cranked up this a little bit, which is basically just bringing out our snare a tiny amount. If we turn it off. It's also bringing up the uh, high end of the um, kick drum. So yeah, that it sort of then balances what we've gone, what I've gone for with this extra low end in there. And I've done the same thing here with this same plugin again. Uh, I don't know if I've said already. If not, I'll say it again. <laughs> All the plugins I'm using here are free. So you should be able to just go out and download them. If not, I'm going to try and explain in terms of, you know, what should work for your own plugins and stuff. So yeah, we got a little bit of saturation on there, a little bit of saturation on there. We've got some extra thumpy kick coming in. Then for the bass, what do I do for the bass? I think I just whammed up some of this sub bass region. So we get even more of that low end flavor. Um, I wouldn't usually do this kind of thing, but for this track I felt, because there's, like I said earlier, not much going on throughout the track, we had room to emphasize that. Um, I've also then compressed it so that it's not peaking over too high. Uh, you wanna know more about the compressor settings? I'm sure you don't, but let's go back to it anyway. So we've got a ratio of five to one. So it's, you know, it's doing a, it's doing a good bit of shaving off the top there. Uh, if we play it, we can see how much gain reduction is going on from this. So this is our decibels going down. We should see that, you know, it's doing a couple of decibels at most. And just at those highest peaks. Got a 90 millisecond attack, 127 release. That just sort of felt about right, I guess, when I was saying the compressor. But yeah, so it just tames back those peaks a little bit for that. Rounds it off a little. Um, and then we've got, again, <laughs> this is like my favorite plugin right now. Um, we've got this with the dynamics up and, you know, a 10 o'clock saturation just to bring out the overtones of the bass a little, that sort of mid-range region. So if we play it without the saturator, with it just that extra little bit of shine to help it cut through a little and then this is basically a side chain so it's a compressor set up to take the auxiliary input from the vocals this is why they're also sort of not muted out when I've soloed this can't hear the vocals obviously but if I were to solo them as well Young guns so firearms like Gilgamesh. You can same class, but the mentals You can see from this. here, this is how much game reduction We've been fighting the same war since men found plane to riding the Megazord. Megazord. Had my ass beat with more than extension cords, so bullets are... So yeah, um, basically it's just reacting to that. That was a tip that was given to me by my good buddy, GD Ambidextrous. So big ups to GD for that one. Uh, it just helps vocals sort of sit in the mix allows them to sit in the bass a bit more comfortably I guess without it then taking over too much or anything like that when it gets a bit heavy so yeah that's about it for what I did with the bass so 
Let's move on to the flute. The flute I did nothing with. It's just kind of adding some ambience. It's like whale song almost. <laughs> so it's great. I just really like the texture that this brings in. It's very low in the whole mix. So you can't even hear it that well um, when everything else is going on. But it's there and it adds that sort of subtle flavor. A lot of what I do, I think, in my mixes is just tiny tweaks, tiny little tweaks to everything. Um, so yeah, we got the piano next. Uh, so got a real nice warm sound there, but maybe just a little muddy in the mix. So I have EQ'd out some of the low end. Um, I then applied a bunch of the high mids up here, bumping this up, giving it some airiness and those high mids was nice. So firearms like Gilgamesh, same flesh, but the mentals create threats. We've been fighting the same war since men found claim to riding the. So yeah, it's just not not quite not quite as thick in the soup. Um, right, then we've got a synth that comes in just right at the end of the track. So I've sort of got it so that it almost takes over at the end there. Um, but I felt it just cut off a bit quick. So all I did on this one was added a delay. Um, so we've got, you know, what, is, what does that mean? Four, four, one out of eights? What the fuck? I don't know, but, but it's in fours, <laughs> so I call it. I just listen. I put it in one, two, four. They tend to work quite nice. Um, but anyway, we've got fairly fairly long feedback, so it's like the tail of the, the delay, how many times it will play audibly before it fades out to nothing. And then we've got a low pass filter on it at 1210 Hz, high pass at 50, just to stop it going into that sub bass region. Um, yeah, and the low pass basically just to, just to take the edge off the top of it. So what this basically allowed me to do oh yeah the other thing is the 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 wet signal so that's you know seven decibels down um it just means that the delay comes in and just acts as a longer tail for it So yeah, rather than cutting off so abruptly, it just has a bit of a longer fade out that way. Man, I spent a long time explaining that, didn't I? Uh, then we got onto Vic's vocals. Awesome. So here we go. My vocal production for Vic goes. I give him more low end than I usually ever give my own vocals or a lot of other people's. Reason being, he's got this, you know, beautiful. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Deep low voice there. Um, I want to really hold on to some of those low tones that he's got. Um, so I mean, I'll I'll play it up. Let's put the young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. We've been fighting the same war since men found claim to riding the Megazord. So yeah, I just felt. It, I always feel it's it's a bit too thin if you take too much out of Vic's low end. Um, and then I've got a couple of little cuts in here. That's basically just to stop any low end resonance building up because we are allowing quite a bit, bit of it to come through. So if I turn them off. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. Um. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. And still prevents it from getting a bit too thick and then just a little bit of a high shelf at the end to allow some air there um, then compression I generally use two compressors on most rap vocals that I mix because we got a first one the idea being that it's kind of quick well they're both kind of quick but <laughs> the first one's the quickest one that's just grabbing those peaks Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. same flesh but the mentals create threats We've been fighting the same war 
Again, never doing any more than like maybe six decibels gain reduction at most. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's just to grab those spikes, rein it in a bit so it's not taking over when it comes to the final product. And oh, so I should probably talk about it. So, well, I mean, attack and release times are relative, but I guess it's always in this sort of region, like under 10 milliseconds probably under 20 milliseconds, ratio of three to one, um, and a hard knee on that. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh, same class. Preferably about minus five on the game reduction, but you know, nothing's a hard and fast rule. So I'll generally, I'll, you know, I, I might stick two compressors on every vocal, but I imagine most of the time it is different although in a similar ballpark um, so this one the second one the idea is just to grab a bit more of the body of the vocal so it makes it a bit thicker uh, I should probably have turned these things off young guns so firearms like Gilgamesh same flesh but the mentals create threats so just with the first one I'm getting the peaks young guns so firearms like Gilgamesh same flesh but the mentals create threats but like it thins it out just a little bit. So the second one, the idea, like I say, grab hold of that body and bring that in. So we got a slightly longer attack time, slightly longer release time. Well, it's about double the release time. Again, a ratio of three to one. I mean, because we've got two compressors stacked combined, they're doing a six to one ratio of compression when you consider the whole chain of effects that are going on. So um, it's, it's a fair bit of rounding off of those peaks of the waveform. But... Yeah, so let's do without the thickness and width. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. We've been fighting the same war since men found claim to riding the Megazord. So it's not much, but it's just bringing him forward a little bit. Um, okay, we've got an imager here because I think when I was... Just looking through visualizers and things, I noticed that although they're in stereo here, Vic's vocals, if we stop there. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Like super mono, super straight down the mix. So I just chucked in a bit of a Young Guns, so firearms like stereo widening there to, you know, let him bounce around the room a little. Um then we got Camel Crusher. Uh, very very lightly applied here so we've got like hardly anything on I mean these are two types of distortion here it's about just over halfway mixed into the raw sound of this lot this can you know that that's on that's off so it's just a tiny tiny weeny bit of distortion again a bit like the thickening compressor it just brings him forward a little I'll just Give it off. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. We've been fighting the same war since men found claim to riding the Megazord. Had my ass beat with more than extension cord. So, yeah. Um, to counterbalance any sibilance that then comes up as a result um, from that little bit of distortion I've chucked in this TDR Nova and the presets here we can stick it on a DSer and basically it just acts as a dynamic EQ that's pulling down in this frequency range that was about where our S sounds maybe a building up a little bit for Vic so if we play that with young guns so firearms like Gilgamesh same flesh but the mentals create threats We've been fighting the same war since men found claim to riding the Megazord. Had my, had my young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. Young guns, so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals. So again, not doing much at all, but just trying to tame those S sounds a bit. Um, the thing I find with this one is if you pull too hard and really tame down the S's. You just sort of lose something from the vocals. You know, it's almost like just having an EQ massively in this section. It's just one thing you can use as a de -esser. I think using a multiband compressor would probably get a better result. But in the case for Vic, 
I didn't feel like a lot needed applying, so that did the job for me there. Uh, and then we've just got a tiny bit of delay, so um, it's, it's a very quick delay, just one one beat, or is it even a beat? One one milli beat, <laughs> one note. Young guns sold firearms like Gilgamesh. Same PA threats. So you can kind of only hear it when it's in the space there. And you can't really hear it very well when you're listening to the beat. Young guns sold firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. The idea being that it's just filling out a bit of space. It's adding an extra layer of depth there to fix vocals. So we've got a low pass down at 1270 hertz, high pass at 134, so it's not going down into the low end too much. And then taking out the high end just means it's it's stopping it being so like on top, so present. Putting it into the low, it, it puts distance to the vocals, gives them a bit of sort of depth in, in the sense, in the context of the whole mix. Um, and then, yeah, so we got the wet signal just really far down. So it's just not much in there at all. And then we got Vic's second vocal track. So obviously I said about these little bits before, I think, uh, where I've just slapped on some delay and some panning. That's the same for all of these little sections. Tired, so I have a walk -walk, man. And it's just to allow them to, you know, bounce around. Let's play with the space a little bit. Adds a little bit of flavor to those bits where there is, you know, some space in the vocals. And then for this, at the end, we've got, it's a, it's his hook, you know, he, that's what Vix even called it here. Of the inhaler with no chaser while they choking. I'm saying cause I only stand up when I'm joking. How can I mind that's been broken, breathe floating? So to give him more of like a choral effect, I have rooted this to another track here, which has delay and some pitch adjusting going on. So we got minus seven semitones on the left, minus seven there and on the left. And why is that? I don't know why that's not so wet, but I'm not gonna fuck with it. And then we got minus five, yeah, on the right. So that then gives him a thickness and some extra voices to this hook section, like so. Of the inhaler with no chaser while they choking I'm saying cause I only stand up when I'm joking How can I mind that's been broken, breathe floating I got tired of being survival woke So yeah, just, just add some extra character to that hook section at the end there Right, and then to sort of finally polish it all off I've rooted everything into a reverb channel up the top here So if we just solo that, you'll just hear Plain reverb. So yeah, it's just buried into the mix, just adds again some depth to the whole thing. It's the kind of thing what I'm going for is so you can almost barely hear it. It's more something that you feel in the mix. Shut my eyes and A B it and just you know, it's it's when I almost don't notice it's there. So if we just play it with and without. Young guns so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. We've been fighting the same war since men found claim to riding the Megazord. Had my ass beat with more than extension cords, so bullets authorized won't take me to meet my lord. It's like you miss it when it's not there, but you don't notice it like it's being washed in delay or anything like that. That's what I'm going for, at least. In order to do that, we've got, so it's just the delay, so it's 100% mix only delay sound coming through, none of the um, actual raw sounds of the beat, or what's being fed into it, I should say, the stems. You know, we've got a pretty quick delay here, so anything under 30 milliseconds, the human ear can't really distinguish that it's a delay that's going on, which is where you get more of a reverb effect from that kind of thing. The warp, I mean, I mean, all these things tell you what they do if you hover over them, or if you were to get this or if you already have this cheeky little beautiful free reverb plugin. Feedback, that's how long it goes. So I wanted it quite long in this because it's big and airy and spacey. That's the kind of reverb that I wanted on it. And then we've got quite a high pass, I guess. Or is it a low pass in that sense? I don't know. Either way, the high's down. So nothing over seven and a half thousand hertz is 
coming through on there so it's not all sparkly and shiny. Well, I don't know. I think you just get a lot of the snare if we do that. I don't know, man. Didn't seem to make a great deal of difference there, but either way. <laughs> uh, right. So, yeah, that and then, yeah, we've got uh, nothing below 450 hertz because otherwise we would have the kick coming through and stuff like that clouding up the reverb. That one you can definitely hear how it muddies the sound. So yeah, that's that. Just some subtle reverb in there to give it some depth. And yeah, so just to go over the reference track that I used, just to show you, I guess it's a Rhyme Asylum track, Smoke Screens and Pipe Dreams, as you can see there from what it's called. Um, like I say, quite a different vibe anyway. Back, grab your roach and rizzler, roll a jigger, spark it and join me for this motion picture. Hand it to the cameraman. I taxi more zoots and cabs and trams and camper vans in that. But like in terms of the rearrangement, you know, you've just got a rapper on the beat. There's not like loads of extra vocals or anything like that going on. Um, you've got just like the one element of the guitar playing in there, a couple of little extra effects and things, and then sort of standard boom bappy type beat. So on the basis of that, that then helped me just decide on some of the levels, some of the adjustments that I should do for when I was setting this up from the beginning. And yeah, it's it's then taken us to here. So when I'm referencing a track, one thing I like to do is uh, if we apply an EQ on the master bus, stick a high pass and a low pass. We're just gonna chuck them right to the edges so they're doing nothing. I mean, a tiny bit, but <laughs> nothing noticeable right now and then we also want our reference track so i think i've already got an eq yeah on here from when i did it before i don't know why you're selected you shouldn't be there there we go right anyway so if we just want to listen to the low end of a mix like when, I, when i'm trying to either write a song you know make a beat or mix something you want to or I, I try and bear in mind all of the different frequency bands. So, you know, you've got your low ends, your low mids, your high mids, and your high end. And I can do that this way using an EQ to just isolate just our low end here. And then we can apply the same EQ over here to the reference track. Now, this is all a bit busy because <laughs> I'm doing it on one screen. <laughs> Where's our track gone? So we got our reference low end there. So they do seem to have sort of a tighter low end. I mean, maybe it would be an idea there to try and scoop out um, some of the sort of low mids around here. Let's have a look at the low mids and see what we think of that. So something like that should be about right, I think. <laughs> Either way, we're applying the same settings um, on the EQ to the reference and our mix, so we're still getting a representation of the same frequencies. Bring real bread to your arrangements. These people in my circle giving bad advice. They rap like lions, but they really lie in life. Read the bridge for monkey, like monkey from your mind. Sitting, sitting down, the room spinning round. My think is not drunk till he fizzled out. And likes, parasites, weaker than fleas on plague mice. So we got a lot more of Vic's vocal in there, but I think that's partly because. Um, I've allowed, you know, his low end because I like, you know, it's almost a creative decision at that point to go, okay, I like him having low end in his vocals. 
so we're going to have a bit more of his voice coming down in this end area in this end of the mix um but hey i'm okay with that <laughs> uh so again we'll do a copy and paste have a listen to the high mids and lice, parasites weaker than fleas on plague mice. So when I'm on the mic, we can't be playing, right? You hold the money like the phone. So I think, I think this is where I, uh... Funded that. Knew you was running when you said you would... Beat the fridge for munchies like monkeys of Jumanji. <laughs> Tripping, sitting down, the room spinning round. At Express, puffy inhaler with no chasing what... Yeah, I think this is where I decided that I needed a bit more of the high end in the piano here coming up there so maybe if I play at express cut the inhaler with no chasing while they choking I'm only sing cuz I stand up when I'm choking how can a mind that's been broken be floating I got tired so I have awoke So it just fills out the sound a bit more there. Direct connections with blast maze of the idea being that it's then the a bit similar to the way the levels are with the guitar, or if it is a guitar, I'm pretty sure it is, <laughs> in that uh, Rhyme Asylum track. And then, you know, we can move on to just the high end. So we got it on Vix track. You got like a lot more snare in. So when I'm on the mic, we can't be playing, right? You hold the money. Cookies, bun and zoopies, a thickness creeper. The snare in the Rhyme Asylum reference track is a lot bigger. Or, a, you know, a lot more dominant in that uh, high register. Might be because they've slapped some white noise or something on the snare. I know that's something people do. So that would probably then come up a bit more in the high range. Um... And I think that's also why, with the drums here, I decided to bump up the snare a little. Just fills out similar to, you know, not the same by a long way. <laughs> but, you know, that that's sort of where I got the um, influence from. Recommendation? I don't know. Uh, recommendation to myself from listening to their track as a reference. But yeah, so reference tracks are fucking wonderful. So I'll play the mix as a whole for you to hopefully enjoy. And Vic, I hope you like what I did in the end with it all. And if not, you know, maybe you learn something. Maybe you just learn that I'm a shit producer and, you know, that's you save yourself some trouble in the future. <laughs> All right, anyway, peace, everybody. Um, check out Splinter Faction, Nomadic Odyssey, Phase Pharaoh Vic, GD Ambidextrous. Obviously, gave him a shout out earlier. All of the Splinter Faction crew are fucking great, and the NO bunch. Um, so, yeah, other than that, hope you have a nice day. Here we go. Young guns so firearms like Gilgamesh. Same flesh, but the mentals create threats. We've been fighting the same war since men found claim to riding the Megazord. Had my ass beat with more than extension cords. So bullets authorized won't take me to meet my lord. Rules of engagements are based on arrangements, not just bills. So bring real bread to your arraignments. People in my circle giving bad advice. They rap like lions, but they really lie in lice. Parasites weaker than fleas on plague mice. So when I'm on the mic, we can't be playing, right? You hold the money like the phone, but I funded that. Knew you was running when you said you would pay me back. Like karma, I come to collect. Serious, I'll take an asthmatic's breath. Cut the inhaler with no chasing while they choking. I'm only sing cause I stand up when I'm choking. 
How can a mind that's been broken be floating? I got tired, so I've awoken. Yeah. Got tired of being, so I've awoken. Of the inhaler with no chase of why they choking. I'm saying cause I only stand up when I'm joking. How can a mind that's been broken be floating? I got tired of being so I've awoken. 